good morning guys so quick little update look what i got my greenhouse is here and built so it took me like four days to do this because i was going back and forth from remodeling our um, apartment that's behind our house so going back and forth helping over there and then helping over here i did get help from my mom thanks to my mom i was able to do this she helped me build it took us four days and yeah um so i put my fig tree right here this is a door fig tree i put it right here and that's a camellia and that is a citrus tree i don't know if it's a lemon or an orange it has not flowered or anything yet but it's looking green and beautiful so i decided to add them here because i had them in some stones over there and some of these walking stones but i decided to add them here because my kids decided that they want to take this little path as a to play you know around the greenhouse and this plastic it's cheap plastic it's really thin i was expecting this greenhouse to come with this kind of these kind of panels that's what i wanted on the walls but i mean for a cheap greenhouse it's not that bad and i can make it work i mean as long as my plants are protected from the frost and the cold on winter time um it's fine so this weekend um my dad is gonna come put an outdoor plug out here we left that on there when we remodeled this side of the house so we left it on there because i knew i was gonna add like an outdoor um access to the plug to plug in stuff so there i will be plugging my heater or if i want to add some lights on the top here too um i got this little cloth from the dollar store it was like 199 and i decided to add it on this side because on this side i do have trees so the sun don't really hit a lot here until like midday that's when the sun starts coming over here and it kind of protects it a little bit here um I am not going to be adding shelves on this side because I want to leave this side free for whenever I need to put my pot, um, my pot plants, potted up plants inside for winter. Um, that way they will be protected. I have my blueberry on this side, my guava on that side, and I have uh, aloe vera and my pepper plant um but yeah this is what it's looking like so far i need to add more of these uh woods down here to bring my um shade succulents like um my hawortias and all that down here because they don't like a lot of sun i still need to bring more of my succulents over i am going to be adding another piece of shelving all the way to this this line so that way i have this space to put another plant a tall plant or whatever and i am going to be adding another piece of shelf on that side so that way i can use that one for either um seed seedlings whenever i start seed starting um or i might just move my succulents that way so my succulents can be back there and I don't have to worry about them and then use this part here to put my seeds um, we will figure it out we will see so far I am liking how it's coming out um, as you can see here some of my squash plants are gone I've been having bad luck with the squash I think they're called squash boards I don't know the exact word but you can see that one back there it's leaned down because they keep destroying them so today this year i decided that i am just not going to even try to fight them i am too busy to try to fight them um if they give me squashes that's great i'm grateful if they don't too bad i'll try next year um my drip it's a lifesaver i don't have to come out here in the sun and water them especially now that i am 
busy building the greenhouse and stuff and trying to get rid of the small one in the back i bought these off of the dollar store too they're so cute i added on there two of them and then two on each side over here i haven't uh plant anything yet but i am trying to think what to plant i want to put flowers annuals because obviously you know i'm not going to be taking those out and then put them in the greenhouse every year more work for me but yeah i have some of the material here that i didn't finish um today i'm taking it slow you know whatever i get to do it's fine i'm trying to beat the sun the sun so far is over there as soon as the sun starts hitting here i am heading inside i am not going to be out here in the sun for too long it's been a long weekend and i am just taking it slow now um yeah i still have to take apart the other greenhouse and all that stuff but i'm just gonna take it slow i am tired i need a break so yeah um this is what it's looking here my plants are growing um look what i got guys i've noticed that one of my melons have germinated i mean germinated pollinated sorry it pollinated and so it's growing hopefully it grows huge and nothing comes here and destroys it there's a lot of flowers in this um cantaloupe plant uh we will see so far i only see male flowers oh well there's another female flower here hopefully it gets pollinated or i'll come here later in this afternoon and pollinate it myself um but yeah so far that's what it's looking like um this is extra dirt that just came out of the side of the apartment that we are remodeling i got a new plant guys so i got a whipping willow from one of um my old friends that i used to buy her a ton of freaking um succulents and so she started selling plants now perennial plants and succulents too so I got a whipping willow to put it in my front yard because I have my front yard I only have this big tree and it shades half of my front yard and then at the other corner I don't have anything so it's really really sunny these trees are you know towards the house so it's not shading anything on the other corner so I want to put her over there and I also got her bought her these um, hibiscus I think she said they were rose something hibiscus and supposedly the flower is so pretty guys and she told me that they mistake this for that plant that you smoke i don't know how to say that word <laughs> but cannabis yeah cannabis plant and they mistake the leaf for that because as soon as you know it starts growing bigger the leaf starts looking like that plant but it's not it's a rose hibiscus i believe and the flower is so pretty it's like a hot pink color um these are my apple seedlings they are growing they love it here i am also trying to do a shelf I want to add a shelf, but I don't know where because I'm running out of space. I kind of want this little square space here to buy like a little table, outdoor table with some little chairs so we can sit here and, you know, relax. Um, I want to get rid of that shelf and just make a one layer shelf and add it to like about right there where all the wiring starts for the AC. And I just put probably like a two layer shelf or something i don't know i would have to figure it out i'm trying to use all the space that i have but at the same time not make it too crowded because over here i do have plans you know my other um race bed that's in the back back there i am waiting for the tomatoes sorry guys the ac unit just turned on um i'm waiting for the tomatoes to okay well then that was just a rooster <laughs> i'm waiting for the tomatoes to ripen up so that i can put my bed right here and then the other bed i'm gonna start it at this corner 
and then you know like I said put it at the level where the dryer vent is at because I don't want to block that so I'm gonna end it here and probably I'll probably make it pass over or put it at at the you know side of the AC unit I'm not sure um, and I'm gonna make another little arch here when I add those two beds and yeah I'll put some um, cucumbers on there or something um, I also bought that lady um, a I forgot the word for this one this vine what is this vine called it is so pop I oh I had it I had it I have it but I just can't take it out the word um it's a vine but I forgot the word for it. I would figure it out and then just write it on here when I find it. Um, but yeah, it's so famous this year. Everybody is buying them. Um, they are perennials. They come back every year. Because I had really, I don't know, I have really bad luck with the sweet peas. On this side, they, they died. They never survive and on this side I do have some here but they don't I don't know they're growing too slow unless I started them really really late and I was supposed to start them you know when it's a little bit um, in the spring when it's a little bit cooler or something but they're growing really slow some of them died some of them have um, these little pests um, that are eating the leaves up so I don't know my corn is going good and I have another cantaloupe um, plant there. I added some extra peppers that I didn't have space for so I just threw them in there. I brought my hydrangeas over here. We'll see how they like it because they were back there and over there they only received a little bit of sun in the morning and then a little bit of sun in the afternoon. and. Um, during the whole day they had shade I mean right now they're receiving shade in the morning I'm pretty sure the Sun is about right there so I'm pretty sure around 12 they're gonna receive this one's gonna receive some Sun and this one a little bit and for the rest of the day until like sorry until the Sun starts hitting over there which is like 6 o'clock so we'll see how they they like that um, I'm seeing right now that there's a little worm on my hibiscus I mean my hydrangeas we're gonna have to remove him slowly and put him in the compost pile so he can enjoy the leaves over there but yeah this is how it's looking I still have a mess I have to figure out what to do with them little decorating fences tiny fences and see what I'll do I have to weed here um, I don't have a weed eater so I would have to borrow the weed eater for my dad and see when I bring it over to weed do the weed eating here and over there but little by little guys I can't do this I can't kill myself doing this in one day it is too hot yesterday it felt like 109 that's what my weather my weather app said and it was hot hot I was sweating badly look I look like I just got out the shower because that's how wet I was of sweat um but yeah so far we're progressing oh let me show you what I did yesterday also so I bought this spray can from the dollar store it was like $1.99 um and I decided to do a little retouch on these and they look so cute because I was thinking about just throwing them away in one of the videos I did say you know that these were used to be chairs so we just cut off the back side and I just used it as a you know like a plant stand <laughs> they are cracking you know but they're still sturdy they're not wiggly or none of that stuff they're still a bit sturdy so I just decided to spray them and see if they would look good and oh god and they do so yeah and then I bought these little hanging planters and I added my rosemary 
Oh, it smells so good. I added my rosemary that I started from seed here. And I added another one over here. And this is my lemon, my lemon basil. It smells good. And I'm seeing that something is taking bites out of it. I don't have to. Excuse me, sir. I am speaking. Um. <laughs> yeah, something's taking a bite in here. These are my husband's roosters. They're game fob roosters. He's so gorgeous. But he's so mean. Did you just see what he did? He tried to take a bite out of my finger. <laughs> and the hen is broody. See how many chicks they get out of him. But yeah, they're they're mean. I don't mess with them. Mine are the tiny ones, the bantams. Um, I also bought this little cute hanging light. Uh, and I bought two more and I hanged them over there. <laughs> but yeah. I'm doing progress, guys. I'm doing progress. And the papers too. I am about right there. And I only need... I counted it maybe like about 10 more or less to finish my walkway paper and I'm gonna add some of that dirt to the middle because like I said in a previous video I does get flooded here so I'm gonna add some of that dirt that my husband took out and add it on there let me show you my backyard is a mess guys I am so sorry but let me show you the Remodeling process because I am also uploading remodeling process as you've seen I did some shorts where I remodeled my house inside and this now we are doing the apartments because <sighs> Last few weeks it has been raining really really bad and so the Pad give me one second. Okay, I'm back um my dog was outside. Sorry. Um, so yeah. We had to remodel this because it was um, raining for two weeks straight. Last, uh, no, two weeks ago it was raining for a whole week straight. And so the pad, the concrete pad that this apartment is sitting on, it cracked. And so it's leaning kind of this way. And so water was going in and we had to remodel. There was a lot of mold here and stuff. So we did remodeled start remodeling it and this is what it's looking in the outside we did not use the same siding as our home because um it is more expensive it's the i think my husband said it was like the cement kind so it's a lot more expensive and so we use the same siding that this apartment had but we bought new one and we painted it the same color as our house so this is where my husband did a little drench or little path so because it gets flooded here when it rains all this in the middle of my backyard gets flooded and it all comes down here and then this is where the water goes in so he added some cement here thin layer of cement so that the water can run back over there and then we have a ditch starting right there so he's going to take it all the way to the ditch so that way it can go out to the ditch and I won't get that flooded here and water won't go in the apartment um, this back door will be closed because he does have the guy that lives here the renter he does have another door that way going uh, that going that way so we're gonna close that door and put it over here in the front so that way his entrance is in the front and he just go in and out with his own privacy you know and um the window that window is going to be closed to put the door in there and there's going to be windows over there so he's going to have enough windows um yeah so far this is what it's looking he has that for temporary he will be closing that with you know fencing but for now it's just there so that he can finish that adding cement to the other side but yeah guys there's a mess here there's a lot of work that has to be done but you know my husband works my dad works um so we have to do this on the weekends only and yeah 
all this mess but yeah guys that's about it um i'm about to head inside it's getting a lot hotter now the sun is going up and i need to get inside and give me a break i will be waiting for later this afternoon around six that's when the sun starts uh going that way to the trees and we have a lot more shade here so around that time i'm gonna see if i have time to record to show you all the process of the rest of the fencing and i will keep y'all updated once i have everything finished and yeah once i have everything finished and i pass all my succulents my son <laughs> Once I have everything finished and I pass all my seconds to the greenhouse and I remove the small one. But yeah guys, that's about it. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.